Bonjour YouTube, this is Nano Burger here, and today we are talking about my favorite subject, the Pocket Instamatic 60, but more importantly, the K battery. Uh, if you're here, you probably found, found a camera very similar to this in your mother's uh, closet or something, and you are interested in getting it working again and using all those good 110 films are coming out with today, but you notice that it takes a very, very special battery and you go to batteries and bulbs, and they laugh you out of the store because the K battery, this battery right here, hasn't been made for at least a quarter of a century. So I have, uh, in my effort to get my cameras going again, I have searched out some of these batteries. Uh, some of them still have some life left to them. Uh, however, at this point, they're a quarter of a century old, and uh, they're basically going dead. Uh, there are two versions of this battery. <clears throat> this one right here is the uh, alkaline version. Uh, you can tell it's the alkaline version because if you look carefully, of course, not going to focus, but anyway, you're going to have to trust me. It says 4.5 volts on the uh, on the metal band on the outside. Uh, the other type of battery is one that has some wine cells in it. Uh, wine cells are uh, mercury batteries, which were used a lot in cameras in the day uh, because of their uh, discharge characteristics. Uh, but you can tell it is a wine cell battery because this one is only 4 volts. So this camera here uh, had a battery that could have been 4.5 volts or 4 volts. So my thought was that this camera has some sort of uh, voltage uh, uh, limiting or adjustment type circuitry in it. So uh, what I wanted to do was to take away the K batteries and do something that uh, could be replaced fairly easily. That led me to creating something like this. This is a shell of a K battery, and as you can see, there's wires coming out of it going to this uh, battery pack. And this battery pack has two AA um, cells in there, and uh, of course that's 3 volts, and the camera normally takes uh, either 4 or 4.5 four volts. But uh, I found that the camera will work just fine with 3 volts, especially when you're talking about big batteries like a AA or AAA. And uh, in fact, uh, I have done it with AAA batteries here on this camera. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the wires come out of the, the body of the camera. And I've melted a small notch here so the wires could come out. Uh, this actually has some advantages. You can actually change batteries uh, without opening up the back of the door and uh, potentially exposing your film. So there is that. However, you know, this is a pocket Instamatic and you have this big chunky battery thing on the back of it. It really doesn't fit your pocket anymore. So I've decided to try to get something which could fit inside of a shell of the battery. Well, you can do this pretty easily. Um, you can take the battery and actually replace the cells with uh, modern uh, fresh cells. However, you have to get sizes that fit in there. You have to attach them together in series. You have to put spacers in to make sure that they don't short out. So basically a, a big pain in the ass. So what I wanted to do in building on my experience with under voltage uh, uh, power for the camera here, I decided to go over voltage and see how that worked. So I decided on this battery here. Uh, this battery is the 4LR44 alkaline battery. Uh, it is 6 volts and uh, apparently it is used in some camera equipment but mostly in uh, electronic dog collars for some reason. Um, advantage of this battery is that it is easily could fit inside of a shell of a K battery. Uh, it would take some modification, but it can be done. 
so these batteries are pretty cheap. Uh, they're, I think, uh, on Amazon, they're about 70 cents each if you buy 10 of them at a time. So uh, a good good thing to, to do uh, substitution for. <laughs> So I took a shell of the K battery and hollowed it out, made some modifications, and came up with this. This, as you can see, is a K battery. However, I have uh, made a window through the middle of here, which is just about the size of the 4LR44 uh, battery. And uh, I had... Uh, replaced the uh, electrode, the, the positive electrode on there. And of course, I uh, had to cut down the negative electrode to just this one strip on the side that's super glued on there. And this is super glued on here as well. On the inside of this uh, slanted part, I stuffed some, some uh, aluminum foil uh, so the battery electrode can uh, attach to that. And on the other side, as you can see, I've uh, soldered a small wire that'll go back to this spring. Um, I had uh, soldered the wire to the spring. Uh, I think in the future, I'll take this wire and kind of route it on the inside. Uh, the, the outside's a little janky, but... Uh... <laughs> So, uh, how does this work? So, you take your uh, 4LR44 battery and the sh specially modified shell, and you have to, and the battery the electrodes on both sides kind of look the same, so you have to make sure that the positive electrode, the one with the little bump here, uh, goes into the positive electrode of the, the battery shell, and the negative to the negative. So... Just kind of push it on in. Okay, so the battery sits in there, and uh, the electrodes should uh, be connected. So let's get our um, VOM here and see what the voltage is the negative electrodes on the outside here, and the positive electrodes on the inside. 5.78, uh, uh, that's pretty good. I've been using this battery for a while, so it's a little under voltage, uh, which is fine because uh, this camera here is looking for either 4 or 4.5 volts, and we're giving it uh, a little under 6 volts. And uh, giving it 6 volts is not going to be a problem either. So uh, we've got the battery. It's in here. Uh, once the battery goes dead, you can pop it out replace it with one of these again they're pretty cheap they're about 70 70 cents each if you buy them in bulk so let's see if it, see how it goes in the camera so as you know you have to make sure it goes in this side and the the uh, addition of the battery makes it just a little bit thicker than it should be but there's enough wiggle, wiggle room around inside there, so, so it fits in there just fine. Uh, I'm not sure you can see it or not, but uh, you can see the, the battery in the battery holder. Okay, so you can shut the door, and let's check the battery test light. And it's a go on the battery test light. Now... Uh, on these old cameras here, sometimes this LED is burned out. So if it doesn't work, uh, you might want to try try the camera itself because uh, sometimes this gets burned out for whatever reason. So let's give it a cock. And I'm going to hold my finger over the, uh, the light meter here. And if everything goes right, this LED will come in here, which will say, hey, you got to use a flash. And you do a halfway push on this. And it does. So we've got about six volts in here, and it seems like it's doing fine. So if we uh, wait for the double click, so we know that the uh, uh, 
shutter is opening. And if you'd like to try and see that, you can do this. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it or not, but okay. So six volts works perfectly fine in there. The uh, the battery fits within the uh, the frame of a K battery. Uh, so uh, that's another uh, option if you uh, do not have K batteries. Uh, disadvantage of this is that you need the shell of the K battery if you're going to be doing this. Uh, every time I run across a K battery in a thrift shop or something like that, I always make sure to buy it. Uh, these shells come in handy. Uh, you say I've, I've made this 6-volt uh, adapter for it. Also made the other adapters from the shells. Uh, so that's about it. So there is another uh, uh, option uh, for your Pocket Instamatic 60. Uh, the 6-volt option. And it seems to work fine. Uh, hopefully the uh, the added voltage is not going to burn out a capacitor or something someplace on the camera. But uh, if it does, I'll be sure to update this video and, and fill you in on the uh, the project. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.